Hi guys, it's me, Unique, and today I thought I'd show you something new. Mr. John said that I should put a little bit more focus on my content creation. So I'm introducing an instrument. It's a tambourine. It's made out of things, wood and metal, and you shake it, you just shake it. It really doesn't matter how you shake it. You can just do you. Sometimes you could even like wear it if you wanted to as an accessory. So educational Mr. John, jealous. <laughs> like and donate and subscribe. Mr. John left me. Adios, guitar. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see. Are his drawing skills getting better, guys? What do you think? Let's start over here at this picture closest to me. This looks like, it looks like a calendar. It looks like these are all of the days of the week, and it says the word May at the top, so it must be the month of May. And there's a little star on the last Monday which I know is Memorial Day, so that must be significant. Up here he has a thought bubble, it looks like, and the words say the past. So whenever we see a thought bubble, we know that we're, we're thinking about something. He's thinking about the past, the past and Memorial Day, okay. This one over here, oh my, what is that? Well, I, I think it's a hand, and it looks like it's a hand with one finger up, and there's a there's a little tie on it, a bow. And I think that that means to remember something. So I think Mr. John's theme is remembering. And that's perfect because I have a great class today all about remembering things. And a lot of the things we're gonna do today are from my personal memory. Just like that song I just played, that song always makes me think of my wedding because we got married on a Friday. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I know what I have next for you. Over in the black suitcase. This is perfect. In the small black suitcase, I'm gonna take it to the ground. I have a couple. Oh, 
I have instrument cards. So, here's what we're gonna do with these instrument cards. We're gonna play a memory matching game. And I'm gonna set them out just like this, face up, so we can see them. So there's a guitar, we've got a triangle, we've got a drum kit, ooh, a harp. Let's see, oh my gosh, bagpipes, a clarinet. Oh, another clarinet, another harp. Oh, there's the other triangle and the other guitar, the bagpipes and the drum kit. So there are two of every instrument. So here comes the tricky part. Here's where your memory comes into play. You have to take a mental snapshot of where all of the instruments are. Then I'm gonna flip them over. Do you have it in your brain? Okay, here we go. Oop. Oop. It's been so long since I've played this game. Okay, they are all flipped over. Let's see if we can remember where each of the instruments are. I'm gonna start, let's start in the middle. Let's see here. Oh, the clarinet, okay. I think I remember the clarinet was right next to the other clarinet, so I think it's right here. Let's see. It is, yes! All right, one pair, done. Okay, let's see, where should we go next? Let's go in the corner. Oh, the triangle, okay. I think I remember the triangle was in the top row. Do you remember which one it was? Let's try this one on the end. Nope, that's not a match, nope. Let's try the second one. <gasps> yes, match number two, triangle, triangle. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's see. Let's start at the bottom here. Oh, the bagpipes, okay. Oh, I think it's one of these two. I remember it being over here. Was it the first one I put out? I don't think so. I'm gonna go for this one, let's see. Yes, all right. Ooh, I got a good memory. Did you guess that one too? All right, third match. Okay, let's see down here. Oh, the drum kit, okay. I think that that was in the top row as well. And I don't, I think this one is the harp. I remember, I remember flipping that one over. Let's see if it's the first one. Nope, eh, it's the guitar, so it must be right here. Let's see. Yes! All right. Okay, there's just two matches left. Let's see if we can get them. Let's, well, since I flipped this one over, let's do the guitar. Okay, where do you think the guitar is? I know it's not here. Maybe it's this one all by its lonesome. What do you think? Should we see? Did you guess that was the guitar? Oh my goodness. So that leaves one pair left. Here's the harp. This must be the other harp. Yes, nicely done. All right, adios memory game. Okay, kids, let's get these bodies moving. Everybody stand up. I'm gonna grab my ukulele. Let's get some wiggles out. We This next song is one of Mr. John's favorites. So I know when he's watching this video, he's not gonna be able to resist singing along. And you shouldn't either. And in fact, if you have some rainbow streamers at home, go ahead and get them out now. They're perfect for this song. Thank you. 
All right. Let's move on to a story today. I have a book to share with you, and the reason that I chose this book is because it makes me think of or remember one of my very good friends named James. Let's take it to the floor. This book makes me think of James because every time he used to come to class, he would pick this book to read with me, so it always makes me think of him. Before we dig in, let's go over the parts. This part of the book is called the front cover. You say front cover. I know it's the front cover because I see a title, and I also see an author. We'll get to that in a second. And how about this part? Well, if this is the front, this must be the back. You say, back cover. Beautiful. And I know it's the back cover because of these little black lines up here. This is called the barcode. The barcode is really important. It's how we buy the book in the store. And what about this itty bitty little part of the book? That's called the spine. Did you know that you have a spine too? It's not on the top of your head. It's not on your knee. It's in the middle of your back, just like a book has a spine in the middle of its back. Now the title of this book is Good Night Gorilla. And the author and illustrator is Peggy Rathman. That means that Peggy Rathman wrote the words and also drew the pictures. But the thing about this book is there aren't that many words. So it's all about the pictures. Good night, gorilla. Hmm, what is that gorilla doing? Is he taking the keys to all of the animal cages? Let's see. <gasps> he did. He unlocked his cage. He's following the security guard. Let's see. <gasps> Good night, elephant. Hmm, I wonder what the gorilla will do. Oh, looks like he unlocked the elephant's cage too. Oh, and look what he's doing. He's unlocking the lion's cage too. Good night, lion. Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. <gasps> the hyena's cage is open. The giraffe's cage is open. I wonder where all these animals might be going. Good night, armadillo. Here's the armadillo here. Oh man, where are they headed? Here's the zoo. This looks like this might be the security guard's house. It looks like all the animals are going inside. Let's see. They are. What do you think? Would you want a giraffe in your house? Would it fit? I don't think it would fit in mine. Oh, says the gorilla. Looks like they're all getting settled in. Good night, dear. Oh my goodness. Do you think she knows she has a gorilla sleeping right next to her? Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. I think all the animals are saying good night. I wonder whose eyes those are. Just a pair of eyes on this page. <gasps> oh. I think it was the woman's eyes. I think she might be thinking, gorilla doing in my bed? I wonder what she'll do. Look, looks like she's walking all the animals back to their beds. Good night, Zoo. Oh, look at the gorilla behind her. He's going, shh, don't tell her I'm right behind her. Good night, dear, she says again. Good night. Oh, that is one naughty gorilla climbing in bed again. Good night, gorilla, says little mouse. Says the gorilla. 
the end. I think I'd have to think about whether I'd want all those animals in my home. It might be fun for a little bit. All right, let's see what's in our treasure box today. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer, if you're a pretender, come sit by my fire where we have some soft golden tails to spin. Come in, come in, come in. I'm going to sit on the cajon for this one. All right, so how do we open up our treasure box? We stick two fingers up and we sing the what? The ABCs. You're right. Are you ready? Well, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <sighs> I heard you singing at home. All right, let's see what's inside. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is a very personal, special treasure. There's a couple in here. Let's see, here's the first one. Are you ready? Can you tell who that baby is? That baby is me. I think I was about one in this picture. Pictures are a great way to spark a memory or to hold on to a memory. Sometimes as time goes by, we forget some of the details about what happened in certain parts of our lives, but pictures help us remember. I don't really remember too much of this picture because I was too little, but there's more in here. How about this one? Does anyone remember going to JCPenney's and getting your family photos done? We did this a lot. That must have been my outfit for that, for that picture outing. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, this one I do have some memories of. I think I was in preschool at this time and I remember my mom made that dress for me. And I have one more and it's a big one. Now I know I was three in this picture because there's a date on the back. And I remember that I always had to accessorize as a kid. I always had to make sure that I had some kind of jewelry and something in my hair because the accessories are everything. <laughs> All right, those are some silly pictures. We're gonna do one more song today. Now, this song is a mashup of two songs. The first song is called Guantanamera, and it is the one and only song that I got to play for my grandfather, and it's one of his favorite songs. And the second song is from the movie Coco. I bet you know what song that is. It always makes me feel kind of bittersweet to play these songs, but I love it because it helps me remember my grandfather, which can be hard to think about. Sometimes it's hard to think about people that we miss, but it's important to honor them in your heart so you remember the memories that you had with them. I'm gonna grab the guitar. If you've got bubbles at home, get them out now.
All right, that's all the time I have for today. I can't wait to see you again next week. Until then, keep singing and dancing. Bye.